Hi, I'm Gina Swoboda, the chair of the Republican Party of Arizona, and this is our weekly whiteboard update. This week at customer service at azgop.com, a lot of the questions came in asking about when are the voter registration deadlines for the primary and um, what is the best way to vote? That's what we were asked. Uh, I love you guys, so I'm gonna try to tackle this question uh, and everybody have a beautiful open mind because we're about winning elections. All right, let's go. We're gonna only talk about the primary right now because we don't wanna put too many dates out there. So our primary in the state of Arizona is July 30th. You will recall we changed the dates in a bill recently, okay? So remember, July 30th is the primary date. If you wanna vote in the July 30th primary, you have to be registered by July 1st, and you have to be registered by 11.59 p.m. on July 1st, all right? So before midnight, you can go to servicearizona.com, click on voter registration, you can register there. You can go to um, my.arizona.vote, you can go, which also redirects to Arizona.vote. These are all places where you can go. If you've got a, a driver's license, you can put that information in, you can register online, okay? You can go down to any county recorder's office. You can see us at the AZGOP. Email us at customer service at azgop.com. We will give you every location in every county where you can go if you wanna do it on a paper form, okay? In the meantime, let's proceed. So, voter registration deadline, for the July 30th primary is July 1st, okay? When do early ballots go out? So, as part of the question, uh, and I get this question a lot, um, what are the best ways to vote? What, how is my vote safe? There, there are a lot of concerns. Uh, we've had um, three election cycles in Arizona where people have lost confidence, okay? There are things I would like and encourage everybody to think about when we're talking to people about, and they're asking you what is the best way to vote. There are different iterations of this question. If you said, Gina, in your heart of hearts, if you could magically pick, um, and I say magical, not in a, in a dismissive way, I say magical in a, if I had unilateral control over how these processes worked, what would I do? I, Gina, the individual like to vote on election day. I like to take my paper ballot, and in Arizona we have paper ballots. I like to place it in a polling place tabulator. I like to watch it go in. Um, if I accidentally overvoted, if I'm using a tabulator, a polling place tabulator, and you know, in Maricopa, in 2022, we had uh, more than 83 races, around 83 races on the ballot. We vote for our judges in, in uh, Arizona. We keep them on the ballot. So sometimes our ballots are super long. Judicial retention is what that's called. So if you have a whole lot of judges listed and bubble, 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 it's easy as, you, as you're going fast or you're very long ballot to perhaps hit two bubbles in the same race, uh, same contest. That's called an overvote. That's not gonna count. When you're voting in person, and you have a polling place tabulator and you put that in, if you do that, it'll spit it back out at you. You can say, oh, wait a minute, voter. And then you have a chance to spoil your ballot, give it to the worker, say, oh, there's a mistake, I wanna do a new one, okay? Um, so that's my personal preference. That's not the system that exists right now in Arizona. Um, and we've had vote by mail for a long time in Arizona. I know that there are people with concerns, legitimate concerns, but here's my position. I am talking to you as the chair of the Republican Party of Arizona. As the chair of the Republican Party of Arizona, I have one job. You know what my job is? To win elections for Republicans. To put Republicans in office, to keep Republicans in office. And to do that, we are going to use every single method of voting that is allowable, that is permissible, that is available. It is just simply a fact, as I stand here talking to you, that there are some voters for whom if they are discouraged from using a mail ballot, are just not gonna vote. So you know what that means? I'm gonna encourage vote by mail for those voters. I'm gonna encourage voting in person on election day. I'm going to encourage voting in person early, which I also encourage people to do. Um, when, uh, you know, uh, I used to work in the SOS, which is uh, an honor and a privilege for me. Uh, and when I did, I worked the phone lines 
1-877-THE VOTE. So when you have questions or if you want to call about where do I go to register, that's what you call. So if you're a person in that office on that phone line, you're on that phone line from 5.30 in the morning till the end of the night, so you don't have time to leave and go vote during the day on election day the way I, I normally like to vote. So in different cycles when I was up there, sometimes I would go vote early in person during the 27 days of early voting. Um, so in Maricopa County, what that looks like is you go to a voting center, they have vote centers in Maricopa County. Uh, you walk in, you show your ID, scan your ID, generates a ballot on demand that's how it works in in maricopa county system and and then if you're voting early they give you an envelope an affidavit envelope and you vote it you put it in and you drop it okay so here's where gina again personally that drives me crazy I mean, why are you printing an envelope when i'm showing you my id the legislature works on these issues every day um they they do work very very hard to try to uh, make gains incremental gains Politics, uh, in my experience, is, a, is incremental gains to get you where you want. To get from where we are, to get to voting uh, only on election day and not having any excused absentee ballots, which is what mail ballots are, right? You don't, it's not like I'm um, being deployed or I have a scheduled surgery or I, you know, um, I have to run out of town or I've had a death in the family. It's like, you want a mail ballot, you get a mail ballot. That's excused, unexcused, right? Other states call it absentee. We call it open mail. So again, our legislature works on that. Um, as I'm talking to you, again, we have a one seat majority, right? In both houses of our legislature. We have to secure the legislature. I'm gonna secure the legislature. So let's talk about when the mail ballots go out. And again, email me, customer service at azgop.com. Uh, this is not a statement um, meant to impact policy for people. These, these videos are to inform uh, I want you to know um, in a transparent way, you know, what my thoughts are as the chair, why I'm working on the things I'm working on, and I am going to promote vote by mail uh, where it is used by people who want to vote by mail. Uh, I am going to promote, again, voting early in person. I am going to promote voting on election day. All right, let's go. Early ballots, which is what we call our mail ballots and in-person early voting both begin July 3rd. So if you are a person that, you know, wants to vote by mail, that has a situation where that is what appeals to you, when you sign up to vote in the primary, and remember, you have to do it before July 1st, if you go to servicearizona.com, uh, there's, there's one screen when you get to it, it says sign me up for the active early voter list, A-E-V-L. If you check that box, they're gonna send you a mail ballot. Don't want a mail ballot? Don't check that box. If you're already on the mail ballot list and you don't intend to vote by mail, I encourage you to go to servicearizona.com, go through the process again. You have to answer every question again and uncheck it. That then you're not on the list. Some people say, Gina, I don't want to vote by mail. However, I like getting the ballot in the mail so I can review it and plan what I'm going to do. Okay. If you take yourself off that vote by mail list, you will get what's called a sample ballot in the mail. They stopped sending the sample ballots to folks on that list because why would I send you a sample ballot when I'm already gonna send you an actual ballot? So rather than have mail ballots going out when you don't intend to use them, uh, which, which is an expense uh, for the taxpayer, I mean, yeah, they still gotta print uh, the sample ballot, but uh, it's probably more expensive with the affidavit envelope and an actual ballot to send you a mail ballot. Go ahead, go to servicearizona.com, go through every page of the voter registration, uncheck, if that is your desire, uh, the sign me up for the active early voter list, and then they won't send it to you. Instead, they will send you a sample ballot. So it'll have all of the same races on it and you can take all your notes on it the same way you would. Okay, but if you wanna sign up for a mail ballot, I encourage you to do so. Go, check it. You will get a notice. Um, now, primary, if your party not designated, so you haven't chosen Republican Party or Democrat Party, your party not designated. In Arizona, our regular primary is open to those folks. So a, a PND, that's what we call you if your party not designated, you may choose to uh, have sent to you, if you're on the mail ballot list, a Democrat ballot or a Republican ballot. 
If you don't call the county recorder and tell them which ballot you want, they're gonna send you a postcard and it's gonna say, check which ballot you want. Do you wanna vote in the Republican primary? Do you wanna vote in the Democrat primary? Remember this, when you see people out in public collecting signatures, which they're out there doing right now, saying sign here to support an open primary. That's ranked choice voting. We talked about that in another video. We already have an open primary, which is why if you're a party not declared, party not designated, independent PND, and you're signed up on the mail ballot list, they're gonna send you a postcard and say, which ballot do you want? Because you're choosing which primary you wanna vote in, which means it's already open. Okay, so July 3rd is when those mail ballots will start going out. July 3rd is when you can go in person. And, and I also encourage people to do this. If you have concerns about having a ballot mailed to you, you don't wanna be on the permanent mail ballot list, you don't want to sign up for a one-time absentee ballot, which you can also do. Uh, and now it's the active early voter list, not permanent. Um, if you don't want to be signed up on that list, but you know for some reason you are not going to be here, you can request a one-time absentee ballot. You can still do that. In addition to all that, you can go vote early in person in Arizona. Now, again, personal uh, view, um, I wish that I was able as a voter to walk into a voting location uh, in the state of Arizona during the 27 days of early voting and tabulate my ballot and stick it in a machine myself. I can't do that right now, but there are things I can do. I can go during any one of the 27 days of early voting. I can go in person, don't have to be on any list, don't have to be signed up for anything other than I do have to be a registered voter. So I have to have registered by July 1st because the, that's the deadline. The early voting doesn't start till July 3rd, right? So register by July 1st for the primary. So if I'm registered by July 1st, I meet all the requirements uh, to be a voter in the state of Arizona, starting July 3rd, I can go in person to any one of the early vote locations that are open uh, and the counties will have them listed, okay? And you can go uh, and you can email us. We'll give you all that information as soon as it's released. You can go to my.arizona.vote and, and they'll have them there as well. And I can walk in in person, I can show my ID, and they will give me a ballot, and they will give me an envelope, and I will vote it, and I will put it in the envelope, and I will sign it, and, the, and then they will take custody of it. So in that way, if you're a person that's concerned what happens with my ballot going back and forth, I, d I don't wanna put it in the mail, I don't want it being mailed to me, you can do that. You can, for 27 days, walk in in person in this state, and you can choose to vote early in person. And that is a gift, uh, and that should, hopefully increase people's ability. We have a lot of choices in that state. We're very, in this state, we're very blessed in that way, okay? All right, so my.arizona.vote. You go to this site, you can sign up for a mail ballot. It's in English and it's in Spanish. Solicite una boleta por correo, which means sign up for a mail ballot my.arizona.vote, all right? And again, the number to call is 1-877-THE-VOTE. And I don't know, I don't know. I'm gonna do this the manual way, all right? Ah, hang on, stay with me. You're not leaving, press. Woohoo! All right, there's another important message. You need to check your voter registration status. I cannot stress this enough. Okay, I get reports every day of people who um, have been registered as a Republican, they've been registered as a Republican forever, and something happens and they're suddenly registered as the PND, right? Uh, it, you need to do this before the primary. If you're on the mail ballot list and you believe that you're a registered Republican and you love your vote by mail, okay? You, you're waiting for your mail ballot. If something happened and, you know, I don't know if there's a glitch in the uh, Department of Transportation website, I'm trying to track it down. We've made reports. Sometimes when we ask people follow-up questions, when they say something happened, I got switched to PND, we find they've done something with their auto registration at a motor vehicle. Uh, that's being looked into, but whatever the case may be, it's hugely important that you check your voter registration. Go to Arizona.vote, click your voter info and just check. Make sure your address is right, make sure your party's right, make sure you're either, yes, I'm signed up for a, no, a mail ballot, or if you don't want to be, 
no, I'm not signed up for a mail ballot. And you can click right through on that site uh, to the servicearizona.com portal and you can update the information. This is hugely important. Your address needs to be right. Um, you need to make sure you have not inadvertently been switched to another county. Uh, we saw this in the last cycle uh, in the um, Abe Hamaday Chris Mays uh, contest uh, for AG. There were a lot of people, I'm gonna say a lot of people that went to motor vehicle, did something with their auto registration, and there's an opt out. There's like a checkbox that's already checked and it's gonna to try to change your voter registration. So if you change your car registration, let's say you own two houses, God bless you, and they're in two different counties, and you want to change the car registration from here over to here, from like, let's say, Maricopa to Yavapai, and you go into Service Arizona and you change it, if you don't unclick the little checkbox, it's gonna automatically update your voter registration to Yavapai. And if you're not like Johnny on the spot, very, paying very close attention to your mail, you'll get a notification in the mail. They will cancel once they receive that notification. Maricopa is going to cancel you because they've been notified that you yourself went into the, the motor vehicle system and said, I am choosing to move my voter registration to Yavapai. You can't be actively registered in two at the same time, right? So they'll cancel you in Maricopa, then they'll re register you in Yavapai. Well, if you're not up at this house in Yavapai, you won't get the notice if you're not up there that you've been registered there. Uh, and you might miss the notification of Maricopa. When that happens, and that did happen to some folks, they, they went to go vote uh, on election day and they were told, you're, you're not registered here in Maricopa, you're canceled. And they had a voter provisional ballot and those provisional ballots weren't counted um, because these folks executed you know, this, didn't see the box, what have you. There's a, lot, there's a lot more there to unpack, but the bottom line is those folks were not able to uh, get their ballot counted on election day. And for many of them, those provisionals ultimately uh, did not count. So what's the moral of the story? Check your voter registration status, please. Go to arizona.vote, click your voter info. I am so proud to be the chair of the Republican Party of Arizona. I am so proud to, to um, be part of this political process. I love the election system. Um, I know there are improvements we can make, but I believe that if every one of us goes and registers five people that we know, and we know that they're out there, you're having a conversation. I say this all the time, I'm in the Uber. How many times am I in the Uber? And you know, I'm like, wow, gas is expensive, right? And they're like, oh my God, <laughs> it is insane. And then we start to have a conversation. And then we talk about inflation. And then I say, yeah, we really need to vote Republican because the Democrat policies are killing the country. And then they say, yes. And then I say, are you registered to vote? And I have pulled out my phone and uh, you know, there were apps and you could take them to the voter registration site. You can put it in a browser, servicearizona.com. You can give them the site, show them how to do it. I am a nerd. I have voter registration forms in my purse. I will go and pull it out and give it to them. Um, but seriously, if, if you're you know, in the book club, if you're at the grocery store, you know, you don't have to invade people's spaces and it's not proselytizing people with, with what you think. But if you're having a conversation about inflation, which a lot of us are doing a lot of the time uh, because it's, it's bananas, um, this is probably a good opportunity to just, you know, see casually if you can open that conversation. If so, please make sure these folks are registered to vote and that they're gonna vote Republican. Uh, and if they wanna vote in our primary, it's a good time to say, well, you know, if you change your voter registration right now, you can uh, make sure or, or register vote before July 1st. So check your status, encourage others to vote. It's an honor to serve you. God bless you. God bless Arizona. I'll see you next time.